What's up, everyone? Uh, I'm trying to make a, a fly rod video with Uncle Uncle Pat. I'm called Uncle Pat now. Uncle Jack came over with our new fly rods, but then Darcy saw uh, Captain Pat spot of the fish on the wall, so now my video is getting preempted by Captain Pat trying to catch his peacock. This is the, well, the problem of living next to a river. Now we gotta go. Looks like they're clearing a bed right there. Lots of fish right there. Sure. Yep. Afternoon when we go fishing, but I've seen them in the morning time. <laughs> Didn't want to eat. Spun around in the circle, made a big cloud. There he is again. He's still there. See a big cloud of uh, dirt. Kind of. Uh, First, pissed off. What's up guys? Today we have a special guest. Captain Pat is here at the house and he is delivering my early Christmas gifts and I've got some pretty new fly rod stuff to uh, start doing some fly fishing. So I'm very excited and we've got our box right here with my brand new fly combo. Whoa, awesome. This looks like the rod. rod and that's the reel. Yep. Very cool. And what's this? This is the eight weight rod. Black some You also got a six weight rod coming. Okay. So we got, I've got one rod here, one set up, and I'm having another one that's coming. We use an eight weight for uh, general all around saltwater fishing and some of the, some of the bass fishing when you got to throw a bigger fly. You know, the, the fly kind of designates what rod you're going to use. But we catch some of the smaller tarpon. Lots of snook, bass, jacks, all kinds of stuff on the on the eight weight. You can have a lot of fun. Yeah. So okay, so this I can use this for all sorts of fishing, pretty much. I can take it bass fishing. I could do saltwater. I mean, do I have to have a specific type of line for freshwater versus saltwater, or like once I pick the line mm, out, like I can use well, it for both? Well, there's there's different kinds of line. Like uh, what you have on this reel is going to be clear sink. So it, it sinks a little bit. It has a clear sinking tip on it. Yeah. Hold on to your rod for a moment. Um, but normally in freshwater, you'll use a lot of uh, floating lines. Okay. So it keeps you up out of the weeds. Right. For the most part. But this will, you know, when you're throwing on the beach or in the intercoastal, it gets just down a little bit um, under the waves. Okay. You know, just under the surface. Um, right. So this will be your, your good all around on the, on the inside, throwing bait fish flies and things like that. Very cool. Here's your clear. That's your sinking kind of weight forward section. This is still going to be floating line once it gets into the color, but you can, you can't feel it through the camera, but it's thicker than the blue fly line that we're going to get to. And that's the taper. So this is your weight, you know, your casting weight, essentially. Right. And then you get into the blue, I believe it's a 100 foot fly line, and then the white is the Dacron backing. And if you get into that, then you're having a, a good time. Right. Oh. Now we gotta get flies. Now we gotta get set up for fly fishing. <laughs> this damn fishing, it's cost so much money. Oh, wait till you <laughs> see the price of flies. Oh, really? <laughs> They're like worse than like Missouri? Well, well you for what know. you get, yeah, I sell them, sell like the bait fish flies and things for, I'll sell them to you for like five bucks, whereas in the store they're seven wow. or eight. Crazy. And that's for a single, single fly. But wow. yeah, someone has to put the time in and... Yep. Handcraft them. Pretty much. <clears throat> All right, my combo is now set up. Pat put on the reel. So now I'm going to run my uh, line through the guide. Oops. <laughs> so now that we've got the fly combo together, I know like the next step is we gotta put the leader on it and we have to like do something called tapering, right? Yeah. And well, how does that work? Fly leaders are tapered. That's what gets the fly to to roll out. They so, like you couldn't just tie your leader to it and cast it out, like you would you would have to taper it no matter what. You you 
can depending on what it was like when we were shark fishing yeah the other day that was straight 100 got it the cast doesn't mass matter as much okay and uh you know it's really for for more finesse casting but it does get the fly to lay out more by by being weighted okay um i tie my own it's just because i go through so many mm -hmm. and there's everyone has a, a few different methods of doing it uh, what we're going to do here is just 50, 30, 20, and then you could put a bite tip it. You know, you can, at the end of the 20, you could make it 12. You could uh, make it 30. Uh -huh. You could make it whatever you want. You could even step from the 20 down to 15 and then back to, uh, you know, uh, whatever you want your, your, we call it a bite tippet, but the end tippet to be. Okay. okay. So what you would normally use for, say, snook fishing when you fish the docks. Yeah. I use 20 pound. Okay. a lot of times okay um the way i do it which is quick for me and uh some people like it some people don't because like i was telling you it gets caught on the weeds yep is uh i use uni knots some people tie albrights but the uni knots seem to work as far as not getting works hung just up. fine for for me right do you uh, leave your tag end shorter so that doesn't happen yeah yeah right. well unis you can you can go real short okay so what we'll do just to be quick here there's different loop knots you can tie we'll just do a quick double overhand okay which will work three and a half feet loop knot this is going to be the 50 foot section so this is the end that's going to connect to your fly line okay and we'll do 30. i did about three feet of the 50 and at the end you're trying to get to about a nine foot leader okay. so i'll do three foot and then maybe two feet two feet and then a little bit bigger and, on my bite tip it. and why nine foot just so because that's just kind of standard to yeah it's that's standard it works okay. so for some of the bone fishing and the permit and stuff where you need to have a longer leader um you'll use some of them use 12 or 14s okay but that's a lot more to uh but like control it, it seems like since we have a nine foot rod like nine foot nine a nine foot leader is a good isn't like a standard practice for a nine foot it just rod. happens to be yeah okay there might be more to it okay you know the whole history of why it's nine feet i don't know but yeah it works right and i'm sure you can go shorter yeah and i'm sure other fly fishermen that are watching this have their own methods oh, as yeah, well sure everybody's very particular on these things that's one thing a lot of times it's over uh overthought over engineered but i can guarantee <laughs> my ugly leaders work <laughs> captain pat's got the leader done so now we're going to connect the leader to the fly line just a simple loop to loop i pass it through grab my tag end okay pull it through got it some people do like a double thing depends on the size fish you're going for i guess but mm -hmm. trust me it's another it one of those this works <laughs> i wouldn't do it yeah. if it didn't work right all right so my fly rod combo here is set up ready to go big thanks to captain pat of swamp to sea guide services for hooking me up with this gorgeous setup and um, now the next thing to do is just practice for the next 20 years until i get really good like all the other fly fishermen and captain pat here and um, the next session will be in a field working on my fly um, skills yeah. so He's going to teach me and um, I'm going to get there. I'm going to catch a lot of fish, both saltwater and freshwater. So I'm super excited. Thank you a lot, Captain Pat. I appreciate it. No problem. Cool. And we'll be back tomorrow with another adventure. <laughs> so if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. New videos every single day. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.